Hello everyone, uh, my name is John Battle and this is my discussion board one video post uh, where we're supposed to describe something new that we've learned about the Garmin uh, G1000 so far. Um, I've never used the G1000, so all this is new to me. It's really interesting and I can see how it's extremely useful and helpful for pilots who do use it. Um, I use a Garmin 430 in the planes that I train in, so I'm really excited one day to hopefully use the G1000. Um, but the function or the feature that, um, or something new that I learned about the G1000 that I didn't know of before, um, is the ability to manage your descent with a vertical navigation or VNAV profile. Um, so essentially this is a flight plan function uh, that can be used for VFR. Uh, it creates a vertical path uh, that gives guidance to a specific point. Um, it could be in between a waypoint, down to a sp up down to or up to a specific altitude. Um, you know, this would be very helpful. Uh, one thing that comes to mind would be really helpful if you're at cruising altitude and you wanna get down to pattern alt altitude before arriving at the airport. Um, it'll help set you up and put you in a specific spot uh, to help you enter the pattern at a better spot or to uh, come in at a better approach for the runway. Um, and if, if you've done IFR instrument flying, uh, you're, you're probably familiar with VNAV. Um, it's very similar to that. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do um, is we're gonna pick a point or an altitude. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna use a point near the airport. I think the, the video in King Schools uses a, um, an altitude of 2000 feet MSL and five miles before we get to the airport. Um, but this is something that you can do at any point during your route. Um, you know, one, one area where it might be useful is if, you know, maybe we can use it to get to a higher altitude. Maybe there's terrain within our route we can use this to climb above the train or other obstacles. Um, so this feature, to get to it, uh, we're gonna go to our multi-function display and we're gonna wanna hit our flight plan button, which is gonna bring all, our, all of our waypoints up. We're gonna use our cursor um, to go to the waypoint that we want to set this at. Uh, for now, we're gonna use our destination airport. That's the easiest way to explain it. Um, and then we'll hit the along track offset key. It'll be the AT key offset key. Uh, and we're gonna click on, we're gonna use that for our desired waypoint. Uh, this will bring up a, a blinking field uh, that will allow us to input uh, the distance to or from the waypoint that we wanna use. So if we turn it to the left, it's gonna be negative, um, which will be before our waypoint. And if we, use a, if we go to the right and use a positive value, it's gonna be at a um, point after our waypoint. So. After we select the distance, uh, we'll then enter the altitude that we want to descend to. Um, and we can go back, we can remove or edit these values at any time. Uh, we just gotta go back to our flight plan. Um, so then once we have that information in, the G1000 will guide us along this path uh, before we get to um, the point where we'll start descending. Uh, it's going to bring up an alert that says top of descent in one minute. So that's when we know we need to prepare our plane, we need to prepare ourselves to start descending. Uh, it's also gonna show up on our moving map. So there'll be a point that says TOD, top of descent. That's when we know that we need to begin our descent. And there'll be another waypoint further down, which will be our bottom of descent, which will be the point that we chose and we put into the system. All right, like I said, within one minute, top of descent, the waypoint alert notification note notification is gonna pop up. Um, and then our vertical deviation indicator will occur, uh, will appear. Uh, this is similar to your ILS uh, glide slope um, that we'd see for IFR flying. Uh, it's a magenta, uh, magenta arrow um, that'll show up. And then we'll also see um, our target altitude and our bottom of descent altitude will show up in magenta. Um, and then, so once those show up and we approach our top of descent point, um, the bug, the vertical speed bug uh, will pop up and we'll start moving uh, to tell us how many feet per minute we need to descend. Um, so once those start moving and the vertical deviation indi indicator starts moving, we'll know that we can begin our descent. Um, the vertical deviation indicator is really important because it tells us if we are above or below um, our descent path. So if the indicator is below, then we know that we're too high and we'll need to descend. If the, if the indicator is above, it'll show that we're too low. And we need to either continue on and let, let it come down or we need to climb. Um, the, the required vertical speed arrow will also move. 
um, if we are below our track. So we wanna pay attention to this and make sure that we're on the right descent path at all times. Um, another item uh, that's helpful in this is the active flight plan uh, page, which gives us information on our descent. Uh, it's helpful because it tells us how long it's gonna take for us to get to our bottom descent point. Um, you know, one thing of note, uh, the VNAV profile, it does not tell us if there's terrain or obstacles, so it does not change the path uh, for, terrain or, uh, for terrain or obstacles. So this is something that we always need to keep an eye on since we are VFR flying. Our eyes should always be outside of the cockpit. We cannot get locked into our instruments. So we always wanna be scanning um, because you never know. Um, if, if we just follow what it's telling us, it could take us right into uh, the side of a mountain or something, um, which would not be good, obviously. Um, so always check our route before we, before we use this function. Um, as we get to the bottom of our descent, the G1000 is, is gonna tell us um, that we're approaching it's not gonna be an audible, audible notification. It's gonna pop up an alert to say that we're approaching our bottom of descent. Um, and then also our vertical deviation indicator and our required V-speed um, indicator bug will go away within a few hundred feet of this, the descent. Um, from there, we should be able to see the airport and we should be able to navigate on our own. Um, so that's my video um, about the VNAV profile on the G1000. Thank you.